everybody, I'm really sorry that I didn't film any videos for such a long time. I decided to take a little bit of a break because like a lot of things were happening in my life, <laughs> basically. Um, my mom had been sick for about two years, just before she got sick a little bit before the pandemic started. And a couple of weeks ago, or about three weeks ago, her health just suddenly took a turn for the worse and she died kind of unexpectedly. And when she died, I was actually in the process of moving. So it was just a lot of things at once. And I really wanted to film moving in my new apartment, um, my new house. But when I tried to film, I don't know, it just, I wasn't taking very good care of myself. I didn't dye my hair for a long time and I wasn't taking good care of my skin and I just looked really bad. And I looked back to the, the footage and I really didn't want to show it. <laughs> but I'm feeling much better now. Um, it's a little bit dark in the day so I thought that I would try filming outside. Um, this is the first time that I've lived in a house in Japan. I'm really excited to show you. I think I'm like 95% moved in. But yeah, please look forward to that video. I didn't upload in a while, but actually something happened and I really wanted to talk about it. And that's why I'm making today's video. Okay, so I'm not sure if you've watched the video before, but I made a video about Nagano. And how I had some very like creepy, ghostly things happen there. I actually don't really believe in spirits and ghosts and stuff like that. But something happened to me recently that made me kind of start to believe <laughs> and I call this video the haunted tunnel so a couple of days before I was actually moving out of my apartment it was about 2 a.m. and I went to eat ramen with a friend uh, by my old apartment and you have to go through this kind of creepy underground tunnel there are some lights under there and uh, it's just generally creepy, like there's always graffiti and it always changes but I never see anyone under there and I never see, I mean it's kind of rare to see graffiti around that area anyways but only this tunnel has graffiti. So anyways I went to have ramen, it was really really good and we were walking back. I was with my friend who's a guy and he never really, he doesn't believe in stuff like that. He's Japanese, he doesn't get scared or anything like that. And as I was walking under the tunnel, we were just chatting. I've never had any problem before. Suddenly, directly into my ear was a voice. And I, I'm not even sure if I can remake this voice. It was definitely a person and they sounded quite morbid and sad and desperate. They didn't say anything, it was more like a noise. It was like... It was really creepy. But it definitely sounded human. And as soon as I heard it, I could almost feel the wind of someone's breath in my ear. And I quickly turned around and I asked my friend, did you just do that? Like, it's very out of character for him. And he kind of, all the color drained from his face. And I was like, he said, no, I thought that was you because it's kind of like more of the stupid thing that I would do and I was like, no, I, I didn't do that and I looked around, there was no one around um, the tunnel goes under a railway track but there were no trains at this time of night there were no cars in the area because it was quite like there was nothing around, there were no people and it just really freaked me out the hairs on the back of my neck stood up and I just left immediately I went home. Okay, so I was really, really freaked out, and that night I couldn't sleep. I was getting really sweaty and clammy, and stuff like this doesn't usually freak me out that much, but I was really, really freaked out. And uh, the next day was the last day until I had to move, so I had to finish packing all my boxes, and I just ran out of masking tape, and I had to go get more. And that night was the night that we had very torrential rain. It ended up uh, causing a lot of mudslides and I think quite a few people died um, around Atami and my prefecture also it seemed like it was pretty bad but I really needed to get the masking tape so I left and um, I went to one konbini and it was actually closed <laughs> I'm not sure if it's because of the bad weather or what but it was closed and it was pouring down with rain you couldn't hear anything and then uh, the only other konbini I had to go under the tunnel 
and I kind of went in that direction and I got to the tunnel and I just stopped. I just froze. I couldn't, I couldn't go under there. It was night again. It was just, I don't know, something about it really, really freaked me out. I had a panic attack and I kind of teared up and I just had to go home and I couldn't do it. And it just, I don't know, something about that tunnel now just fills me with fear. So, in conclusion, um, I decided that I would, the next day was the day that we packed everything and I moved into my new house and I decided that I had to try and face the tunnel otherwise it would freak me out for the rest of my life. And I decided to go in daytime when it was a little bit less freaky and I wanted to just take some footage of it. And I managed to force myself to walk through the tunnel. And take some footage. Okay, so this is a tunnel. Trains go above, but uh, the time I went there weren't any trains at all. Yes, graffiti and stuff. And then actually that night, um, I had to go back to do some cleaning so I decided to go back and see if I could take some at night and I ended up taking some more footage and <laughs> it was honestly terrifying for me but if you look at the footage I, the tunnel is actually terrifying. <laughs> It's not like a very big thing, like nothing pushed me or anything like that, but I don't know why it just really chilled me to the bone and I don't really think of, I don't like watching horror movies or anything, but I also kind of don't believe in spirits and ghosts and stuff like that, but this one instance kind of made me start feeling like those are real, so I honestly got hope that nothing like that happens to me ever again and I kind of never want to go through those kind of underpass tunnels ever again. Let me know what you think. Um, I'll show you the footage and tell me if you think that the tunnel is creepy as well and like if you would go under there. I thought maybe it was the time as well. It was like 2, 1 to 2 a.m. and maybe if I returned at that time maybe I could hear it. Um, as well, I, my friend was really really freak, freaked out. He didn't really want to talk about it and I heard a voice that sounded kind of like a man but he said it sounded kind of like a woman but he couldn't really tell. And I asked him to repeat the noise for me, but he, he just wouldn't. He just said he felt like he shouldn't do that. And he's not really superstitious or anything like that. So it was just very strange. Even even talking about it now, I'm getting like <laughs> freaked out. So yes, please, thank you for watching. Um, I'm going to be more active on YouTube now, now that I've moved out and I'm feeling slightly better. Thank you for bearing with me. And a lot of people sent me really nice messages. So thank you very much. Goodbye.